Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our daily card reading for April 14th, 2021. So today we have Tiger's Eye, Overcome Your Fears, and Hematite, Ground Yourself. These are both, this is fascinating, so these are both very grounding, very protective crystals. So overcome your fears, that's going to be something to come on through, and grounding yourself. Something's going to knock us into, uh, make, can I say an anxious kind of feeling, um, knock us, knock us askew from, you know, we're kind of going along. Everything's great. Everything's great. What this is, is this could be actually an event that happens out in the world. It could also be for you as individuals, something comes up, but it does have this feeling of making us perceive ourselves as unsafe. Okay. What this is actually doing is, yes, we're going to be called to action. We're going to be called to be there for other people um, and to help in the way that we can. But notice this says from a grounded place. So basically, if you want to see this as the focus, the angelic focus for today, it's about learning, not learning to avoid. We can't avoid the things that happen in life. We can't avoid or control what other people are going to do but we can learn to get through it. We can learn how to see what's really there, what's illusion, how do we really feel, what's happening here. And this is not encouraging you to make up some story in your head about what you're observing and try to pass that off as truth. There will be punishment for that, 100%. It's not me, I'm not doing that, I don't know how to do that. <laughs> you have to call God for that one, I don't know. But there is a little thing called karma. If you don't believe in karma, Think of it as, again, the thought waves, the thought forms, everything that we're putting out there, all the ripples we create. Gonna be banging into the other ripples, okay? <laughs> it's gonna be making distortion. So you gotta be careful. It's gonna come whipping back at you, all right? So what can we do today? Should you be in fear? Absolutely not. That's the whole opposite message here. Don't be in fear. Don't let... Uh, narratives drag you down. So on an individual level, here's what I just felt, and this might be uh, very specific for a general reading, but I'm gonna put it out there. It feels like someone's in a work environment and uh, this person is coming from a very victimhood mentality. Everyone's, but this is more that like, I'm gonna lay it down, like that whiny victim mentality where it's almost like put on so that people feel bad for them and they get attention. It's that kind of energy, okay? So this is someone in a workplace and uh, someone comes up and I'm hearing disapproval. So there's some disapproval of what this person is doing and then someone delivers a message of stop playing the victim. I see right through you, stop playing the victim. And this you want to talk about sending out uh, like a wave. This person darn near implodes because no, maybe no one's ever called them out on this. But again, it's not as if this person is trying to come from a place of manipulation, although it is manipulative. But uh, I mean, I don't think they're intending to come from that. This, Even though this is a very specific message, don't tune it out. Because you might have some, even though the surface level example may not pertain to you exactly the underlying energy is valuable so pay attention to this yes this is what they're bringing through so this sends out this whole ripple um and this person may not handle it very well at first i was just saying that i don't think this person is trying to come from a malicious place they're coming from a pain place they are hurt somewhere along the line they were disempowered they were taught that you have to lay low and this might be a very unpleasant experience. However, what this breaks open in this person is exponential and it will help turn this person in a different direction. Doesn't happen in the blink of an eye. There might be a healing process to go into this. I'm sure there will be, but hear that example. That is that kind of thing where, you know, overcoming your fears might be being afraid to take accountability for yourself because maybe you were never taught how. I was saying to somebody one time, you know, sometimes I feel like uh, 
like I feel so vast and kind of like my boundaries kind of fade when I'm having conflict with someone. And so when I'm, it feels like there's nothing to anchor into me in a moment like that. And it's like, I, I want to step out of the human experience for a second. Cause I don't want to, I don't want to do this, but that's probably not very healthy at all. <laughs> right. And that's where we don't take account of, well, me in this example, I wasn't taking accountability in certain situations because I wasn't allowing anything to anchor into me. I felt so, I went out of the situation, not disassociating. It wasn't that severe, but just kind of stepping out of the conflict and going, I don't want a part of this. You know what? You have it, you take it. And I'm not going to let any darts land on me. Now that, again, I would love to, if you're a psychologist out there, you might be like, girl, that's a, that's a diagnosis. No, <laughs> but like, but like from a spiritual standpoint, I think that's a very common way of trying to handle this world is to disconnect from it and stand back. And as we say, observe, but don't get invested. But this is where if you go too far with that idea, it starts to become a little toxic. Yes. So first of all, you're losing your boundaries and you're losing a sense of self let's snap that back. Okay. So <laughs> be aware of that and bring it back in. But also where are we not taking that accountability? Because we're so terrified that it's going to mean something about us that if we're wrong, like, again, there's that toxic con conditioning coming in where it's like, if you're wrong, then you're not as good or something. It's really weird anyway. So grounding yourself around these ideas, because whatever comes up today, your learning how to be fearless. This is very Archangel Michael kind of energy. It could also be seen as Archangel Uriel as well. So finding your voice, finding your courage. This isn't to like start a fight or to go stand up against somebody that you think you need to or whatever, just to be right. This is about facing your deeper wounds, your deeper fears. As I always say, these videos are not a replacement for therapy. If you choose to work through this, please make sure you do so with a professional who can help treat the mental body. You can't do that here. I'm not qualified for that. Okay. <laughs> so there's that part. So let's get some cabochons. Let's see. Yeah, I'm going to just kind of, maybe nothing will happen. Hopefully nothing will happen. Or what it could be is that something's kind of happening around this time. Yes that we are having to come through and process. I don't know why I laid it face down high. <laughs> we need that. Harmony, openness, and there's Archangel Uriel. Should I try one more time? Just blindly see if Michael comes out. Dun, da, da, da. Is she psychic? No. <laughs> Gabriel. Um, bringing comfort though. So Uriel is about that courage, that strength, that wisdom. Um, and I'm hearing follow through. I don't know what that means for someone out there that must be important here, but you're following through. Okay. Some of you are taking this the wrong way. Like I'm going to follow through with my threats. I'm going to follow through and file that lawsuit. I'm going to listen. I'm a justice junkie myself. I don't like it when <laughs> things, you know, when someone who is kind of maybe not such a nice or what I perceive as like not a very nice person is, you know, harassing people or whatever. I do love me some justice, but be careful with this. Again, make sure you're not just taking all the accountability and throwing it at somebody else and saying, it's your fault, not mine. You feel me? We were using this example before where like sometimes we step so far out of a situation to protect ourselves that we're not looking at all sides of it. Again, hard lesson. I'm learning it myself. Um, because our sensitivity can get the best of us and we want to jump out, right? But there's somebody out there who doesn't have a strong sense of self. You're not really anchored in your own being, right? And so you think you win by mouthing off to people, by having something really snappy to say, by being defensive. You're just robbing yourself of your own happiness. And all that is, is an expression of fear. That's not protecting you. So... That's where you're going to have to understand your own harmony and healing and nurturing. Yes. And grounding here as well. So we're going to leave it there, guys. I'm sending you all so much love and take care. Bye-bye.